Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragon and this is part 15 of my beginner's guide to Art Survival Evolved. In the last episode we got this chappy behind us, a Pteranodon, our first flyer and a crucial part to early game when you get to that point. So if you're enjoying the series, enjoying the videos, drop us a thumbs up. A wee subscription goes a long way, and yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the series, and yeah, let's get into this, we've got a few bits and pieces we want to get done today, finally we'll get the crop pots seeded, uh, we'll get them done right away, I think, and then we'll level this guy up and we'll have a wee fly about later on on him. Right. There we go, more fertilizer. I've got to take the oil. And as you can see, the dung, uh, the fuel has been busy. <laughs> so, the point we're up to at the moment. We'll be taking us on to possibly eventually taming an RG at this point. This is where I would be looking at is leveling up the Thranodon and going to tame an RG. But we've got a few other bits and pieces we want to get done before that point. Um, let's see, I'm trying to keep the video short and. It's not easy. <laughs> I don't mind editing, but I just, I just think if you edit too much, then people wonder where's where's all the other bits that's supposed to be there. Where at the moment I've been doing a wee bit of farming here in the beginning before I start recording. A wee bit of farming and basically the daily chores. Just checking the spoiled meat and other bits and pieces. Right, so we've now got five in there and we've got ten in the rest. So the moment we've been waiting for, we'll get some seeds. Yeah, so we've got all four vegetables. Oh, wait a minute. I need another potato. Oh, I didn't realise that. Right. Uh, wait a minute, is it two crop pods each or four? Can't even remember. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, we've got one special, one spare one. Right, I know what I can stick in that one. Which will be yeah. I'll keep that one free at the moment. So. We only need to two. Right, so we've just grabbed our seeds now. It doesn't matter what way you put them on, uh, or what order you put them in. And so, uh, right, so we're at this back one. It says ten out of ten slots. It means it's full. Um, we don't have greenhouse effect because we don't have a greenhouse up yet and it's not seeded but it is irrigated. So if we go into inventory, we take out one fertilizer and what's this? Citronol, that's lemons. Just double tap and then we pop the fertilizer back in and there we have it, a full crop pot. I just want to do that to them all, but not just with citronel. There we go, and when it starts to grow, 
and pop the fertilizer in. So this one, we will change our seeds. And we'll go with long grass, which is corn. Put one in. Just give it a couple of wee seconds to start to shoot. So we just want to go around all the crop pots that we've got sorted. As I said, we've got an odd number, so we've done two long grass, so we don't need any more long grass. So we'll go keep the carrots to the front. Uh, potatoes. Basically, salva root is potatoes. Right. And one of them out. take a wee minute sometimes. There we go. And we are wanting to leave. Actually, I think we'll just stick the rock carrots all along the front here. <coughs> Come on. Because right. by the time they've started growing and things like that, we'll have more fertilizer to fill up. Always remember, you have to then keep an eye on your fertilizer. Hence how I waited till there was ten, nearly ten in each. There we go. Right, so we now have three rock carrot. If we look back in, it says crop long grass seed seedling. And it shows you how much fertilizer's in it. 539,000. Which, that will slowly come down. It comes down a bit quicker on official. So you've really got to be on the ball. I would recommend, depends how big a greenhouse you've got. Well, I had a substantial greenhouse and I had three, four dung beetles producing fertilizer. So... <clears throat> which was enough but I was growing everything um, from plant species Y to Z plant species Z plant species Y uh, and Obviously, plant species X, I had that all over my greenhouse to protect it um, from flyers and surprising that you do need things like that on PV, but yeah, you do get ickies and other things. Um, where I was, you got the alpha, I had alphas in and stuff and they would jump off a cliff and land on top of your base and stuff like that, so a good scatter of plant species would take care of them. Right, anyway. Oh, are you guys moving a bit quick? He's going to be level up, we'll just deal with him first. Just a wee level, nothing else. Right, and I'm gonna grab a 
Let me reach now. Fall again. As I say, the compost bin's good if you can get to a dung wheel, but preferably you want to have, a, have at least one dung beetle to begin in your farm. Um, stuff popped away and then we can look at what we're going to do try for oh come on seems to be a wee bit slow this morning um, right just dive out away for these fires in there uh, it can be a wee bit noisy there we go, we'll look at the pteranodon then as you see, I have been out on it. I've not leveled them up yet at all. You can tell that by the experience. It's like 3,362.9 slash 10. It means there's been nothing. As soon as I start leveling that up, that 10 will change. So it just shows that it's not been leveled up at all. Um, so what we've got here are the stats that it got when we tamed it. We will be looking at have we thrown one on health? Mm, no, if we get that close to the ground. Um we'll be going for stamina and weight. <coughs> so we want to try and ideally about a thousand for stamina. So ideally it would be nice to have about a thousand on stamina for them. Um, because we will be using him as bait for when it comes to going for an RG. Also you bit of more health when they go on this. Um, which that's easy enough that one. Uh, I'll just sort this out. As I say, constantly, constantly do things around your base as well. Um, narcotics, narcotics, one of the biggest ones. Um, cook meat and different things like we were talking about making cement paste there, which we will be doing in this episode. <coughs> I'm just. Let's see. It's a constant thing when you're not using Explorer Notes to do the levels. You really have to keep working at all your other wee jobs and stuff. So, we were looking at cement paste, which is going to be a part of this next thing that we're going to do. <coughs> So, if you quickly look into the modern pastel, and this spare one, right, one to, so it's a 4 to 8 ratio. Basically, that's a 2, uh, basically 1 to 1, uh, 2 to 1 ratio. If you drop it right back down, uh, the very basics. If you take one chitin, you need two stone. So basically it works out as a two to one ratio. So whatever you put in, you need to have at least two stone to one chitin. Right. So I did grab a wee bit of stone and as you see we do have an extra storage box up. We had to throw another one up. Right, so it's two stone to one chitin, which we go one. Um, try to think how much we can even carry. Um, three, 
four, five. All right. So if I put five stone on five hundred stone. It would then mean we need two hundred and fifty chitin or keratin. Which, as you said, we've been collecting up, so we have got plenty. Right, so we'll take one of these, so we're only wanting half of that. And then we'll go one, two, 250. There we go. So with that, that says we can craft 62. I've taken it back to a uh, 2 to 1 ratio instead of trying to work out 8 to two, eight to 4 which makes it a lot easier right, so that's going to craft 62 we'll just craft it all because I think for this next item we need 50 <coughs> excuse me right, I'll just shut that door then Um. Okay, so our next thing is quite a big item, uh, and it's going to fill up in here pretty quickly. I was considering expanding out the back, but uh, we'll just carry on. Since we started making the, the cement and paste as well, you get slightly more experience for that than you do narcotics, so making that as well gives you a bit more experience right and at the moment we're starting to work on fortitude really I would have my fortitude up to maybe 60 um, just to try and balance it a bit but then if you go into the cold make sure you've got fur on um, right so we're going to <clears throat> scroll down the list quickly as you see we're getting through the engrams now there is some we will return to once we do other bits and pieces like long neck rifle it's there at 35 we will come back to that different saddles we will come back to them um, there's all the greenhouse stuff we just don't have the resources for it so we've got to then return back at the moment, this is what we're after, fabricator, and can only be crafted at Smithy. Uh, it takes 20 cement paste, 15 crystal, 35 metal ingots, 10 oil, 50 spark powder, and it has to be powered by gasoline, which we'll be making gasoline as well. But with unlocking that, with that, we will then be able to craft polymer and electronics. A simple way to get in the electronics is farm tech dinos. There's plenty of tech parasols about jumping the. Eh, I was going to say jumping the Tyrandon. If you had better weight on the Tyrandon, or whenever you get an RG, jump on that and just fly around the map eating all the tech stuff you can and surprising how much electronics that will give you polymer three bit deer two cement paste two obsidian obsidian you've got to go all the way up into the mountains for um, the other alternative to that is organic polymer doesn't stack as much as polymer does and organic polymer spoils but the way to get around that is the moss chops they're the greatest organic poly collector in the game so with that you farm penguins and yeah it's that would be the sort of method that I would be going along until I got iron keys, uh, a few RGs, maybe even not to the point of 
breeding and target up to the point of breeding arches so they're imprinted better stats. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so anyway, we're getting sidetracked again. We're going to unlock the fabricator. We're not going to unlock the generator and the electrics and all that there now because in this small base there's really no need, no need for it. And there's nothing here we need to power yet. And there we go, empty cryopods. We'll just unlock that over here. Cryo fridge is actually still a wee bit away, but you can actually put them into an ordinary fridge, which is level 60, which is still a wee bit away. Unless you see that hit an explorer notes and then you'll go away past. <coughs> which we don't want to do. Also, we're going to unlock the industrial grill. But we can't craft that until we craft the fabricator. So as I was saying, 2015-35 all needs to go into Smithy. That's fine. I think we've got all that stuff pre-made for it. Um, let's grab that. We said oil, don't we? Yeah, right. Ten oil. I'm not going to count out exactly 10 oil or 10 of this or 10 of that, or the exact amounts. I'm just going to grab the materials that we've got for it. And crystal. Right, I've got 112 in there, that's good. scrap metal and stuff in there. <coughs> right, so in here now we can get into structures, crafting, and there we go. So we're needing our 20 cement paste, that's it. So we'll check over, see how it's getting on. And there we go. Because I did a 2 to 1 ratio, we do have leftovers. So Basically, if I was to get another four stone and two chitin, it would basically make another cement paste. Uh, but 62 is what we needed. Well, we only needed 20 actually. So we've actually got a wee bit left over. The other way to get cement paste is with beaver dams. Sometimes they spawn at random parts on the map. Well, it's the same random parts that spawns all the time. Um, usually about the rivers or up at Hidden Lake. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, or you can tame yourself up your before and dive into the swamp cave, which Really, you shouldn't be going in there without a gas mask. Um, I don't even know if the old method of scuba works. Uh, I know it used to, but I don't know if it still works that way. Um, but no hazmat suit or gas mask to get into the swamp cave, and you'll be able to eat all the bugs in there with the peels buffoon get hundreds of cement paste and chitin, keratin. Right, so we've got some metal making. We've got this now. So, right, okay, so we'll go crafting. There we go. We may even get a level up for crafting this. No. What we need some more oil, and we could have another one, but not at this point. Right, 
I hate these treadmills at the moment. Because they're so sensitive on this controller, it's unreal. Right, as you see, we don't have enough room to place it down. It is quite a big piece of equipment. So, what I've done in previous playthroughs and games and stuff, we are going to go back into the inventory. Go to crafting. Um, multi. Right. Can you save any of her? So we're just going to type up, type up catwalk. If I could spell. There we go. We're going to unlock that. And then we're going to go back to crafting. Right, weapon structures, structures. Wood. And there we have it. See ya. Fiber thatch and wood. But fiber. Thatch. And a wee bit of wood. As you'll notice, I never count things out to the exact. Uh, I grab a stack of this or a stack of that. It's right. Are we going to? No, I don't want to, are we? Hmm. All right. Okay. Um. Where are you in my place? All right. Okay. Well, we need to go this way then. Oh, what's wrong with you? There we go. Right. So we've got these two ledges now. The good thing is you can walk directly under them. So it's. There's no interference. And then we should be able to get us placed up here if we can. Sometimes you've got to do. Right, we could either have it that side, or we can have it along this way, it'd be a red plant. Um, I'm going to build a ladder. Let's see if I can get... Right, we don't want to there we go. Crafting. Right, okay. So. Right, I think. No sent them. Um, I think I can see us having to actually put it along that other wall. I think that'll be less hassle. Um, I'll get away for the fire. Right, I'll just go back up on the unit, on the boxes. Right. Sometimes this can be a pain to get positioned. 
Is he just... Right, I think... I think we'll get that because it's... There we go. So there's a fabricator. Yeah, it does look a wee bit funky being up there, but... On a smaller size base... You use the space that you've got. We've got about a head height, so we can access it. Oh, and I've picked it back up. Right, so we look in, we've got cooking, we've got the industrial grill. So that's us moved up into the next level of sort of crafting materials and things and what you can actually craft. Right, let's make that keep that ladder on you. Might come in handy for something else. The other way is using just a metal ceiling. Ah a normal ceiling instead of the catwalk. And you probably found it would have let us place it further back to the wall. But with the no clipping as well, you've you end up with well, I suppose that's thing me to the edge. Sometimes it can be a wee bit awkward fitting everything in. But, as I say, this is, this is basically like a starter base anyway. It's, this isn't the way you would end the game in by defeating the bosses and stuff. Uh, you would upgrade. Right. So that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. How are we doing out here? It's pitch black again. Right, we'll grab some of this. Just top up the dung beetle again. He might be needing f some more. Yes, he is. good when the dung beetle gets going because it does make your life a lot easier when it comes to crops. Uh, nine, ten, right. And as you see, they are starting to get big. We haven't got anything in them yet because they're still... Well, it's a fruit one, but it's just going to be... Yeah, we'll need to just wait for them to to grow a bit more. But there we have it, they're all grown up nicely. They're getting irrigated from the rain as well as the piping underneath. But when you build stained glass around it, you would cut off basically the rainwater. So that's why you irrigate the pots through a plumbing system. Right, um, I don't think we're going to get out and about. It's pitch black and it's raining. Right. It is absolutely horrendous when it starts raining. Something you all need to get used to be up, especially on official. Night time is a nightmare. You either get night time and fog, night time and rain. Or, and it is absolutely horrible to be out on because you can't see nothing, literally nothing. So, right. Well, I think we'll call that an episode and yeah we've got the fabricator built we've got our crop pots growing nicely uh, we've got our pteranodon leveled up and yeah bring on the next episode so 
If you're enjoying the series, join the episodes, please drop us that thumbs up. We subscriptions are most appreciated. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next one.